Done. Dun. Oh, what do we got going on here? You don't tenderize clams, but okay. You want gross clam meat, sure, I guess. You do you. Oh, looks like we got a triple spin. Everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part two of SpongeBob Truth or Dare. So, in the last episode, we beat Jellyfish Fields, kind of. We still have to go back there for other items. So, health upgrade. Need more health? Look for the closet in SpongeBob's house. All right, so we can change our clothing. So, oh, there we go. Never mind. It's two thousand for a health upgrade. And then cosmetics, you get his Krusty Krab uniform, his... Oh, what episode was this one from? I think it was when he was with Mr. Krabs, then his Mermaid Man one, and you can get Patrick cosmetics. His Barnacle Boy cosplay, a pirate one, and his mask. Sandy, we can get... I'm not, not entirely sure which one that is. You get her band one from that, that episode where they do the halftime show, one of the best episodes ever. Her cowboy one. Squidward we get his Krusty Krab. Oh, when he um Um disguised himself as Pirate One again. And No, I think that's Oh, that's his music one too. And apparently Gary gets some. Alright, so how do we go back to the other level? Uh, uh, oh wait. Oh yeah, we can go back here to a previous level. So, oh yeah, there's acts. There's three, seven, ten levels. So we still need to find two more items and the uh barnacle boy, mermaid man, barnacle boy, happy meal things. What does SpongeBob do to help Sandy with her homesickness? Throws her a party, builds her a ranch, fixes her rocket. Throws her a party. Uh, we don't need to see the cutscene again. You don't need to blah blah blah. No. Alright, we'll take this one. Which then unlocks this spot, which is where the challenge is. And then, yeah. I only got five legs. One of them's my head. Of course they were there. You probably just didn't notice them. What and that cannon? Does that cannon shoot more than once? Right, we probably just didn't notice them. All right, so we have this one. We we wait a minute. Start. If you want the prize, destroy twenty of the. Okay. All right, so this one's a destroy challenge. Sponge a kiss. There we go. Ah, oh, we're gonna beat it. Nice. Nice. There we go. We got the challenge done. Woohoo! And we got the baby jelly jelly jellyfish. Alright, so then the other challenge was towards the end of the level. Uh, it was this way. We almost have enough for that health upgrade, eventually. It's gonna take a while, isn't it, now that I think about it. Can we actually destroy these? No, you can't. You have to be strong. Okay. Let's go. Wasn't there a box over here? That was weird. Alright. Wait, do these boxes only connect to, um, sir- Wait, why can't I hop in the box? Also, that was weird. But I just realized something. You're too big to get in that Oh, you have to redo everything? Really? That's a pain. Oh, I am so no, I'm muscular again. Ah, I'm so ripped and I don't mean my pants. SpongeBob ripped 
pants joke. Oh. Might as well just collect the collectibles that we can get along the way, right? Right. I'll probably come back for those other collectibles since I'm not entirely sure how to get them anymore. It's been way too long since I played. Can I skip this? No, I can't skip these cutscenes again for whatever reason. But let's hop across. Put a little spring in your step. I am the spot. Boing, boing, boing. Do you need to say something different like midway through a sentence? Oh, here we go. We got this one. Destroy the ten flying Dutchman tikis. So you can destroy them. What the heck was that game? These can get pretty difficult as time goes on, too. There's one level in this I remember being, like, really, really difficult. Can you destroy that? Thank you. There we go, and we did it. Woohoo! You've completed the challenge. Oh, and it's Bubbles. Bubble wand. Noise. Why are we going uphill? I just realized that. We were going uphill in this section. That makes no sense. This is... weird. Let's hope we didn't cut any of them when the glass exploded like that. That's kind of scary. Imagine being a jellyfish and all of a sudden glass explodes everywhere. Doesn't sound very friendly to me. They don't even drop coins. You suck. Wasn't there another... Yeah, there's another challenge right here. Survive 60 seconds. Okay. Alright, we just gotta survive 60 seconds. But if you can destroy them, you get more money that way, so that's always beneficial. So we do want the money. Who doesn't want money? Yes, I am the sponge. But we're not the only sponge. Do you remember his cousin? His cousin was a moron. Wait, are those the ones that take two hits now? Or did I just miss him the first time? I think I just missed him. I think that's all that happened. You do? Then shouldn't you be happy enough to remember everything then? Spongebob, you make no sense sometimes, buddy. Your commentary is more than lackluster, that's for sure. But, we should be done this in one more second and we're done! Woohoo! We did it! Alright! Oh, and it's worth one of these! Oh, those are art packs. Okay, that's all they're for. That's not very useful. I don't care about art packs. And look at all the stuff we're destroying. Holy cow. Now, can we just skip this, please? Like, do we have to beat this again? I don't really feel like beating it again for the umpteenth diddly time. Alright. And I'll grab the power up again, because why not? It just makes killing these things super quick and easy. Yeah, here we come, Patrick. Why would I buy cosmetics for them, though, if you don't really play as them? They just show up as side characters. Especially Gary. Like, Gary doesn't... I know for a fact Gary isn't a playable character. And there we go. And now we can leave again. We got all the main collectibles here, just not the concept art. Right, hopefully we... Dream of doing. Riding a mechanical horse, he just sits on it. Like, his dream was super boring. He just sits on it going back and forth. And pa and Spongebob leaves his dream. Let's put some 
and bustle in our breeches and... Uh, it can be upgraded, but you'll need... But you'll need to have enough happiness nuggets, Glyph, okay. Oh, I guess before we can do anything, we'll go talk to Sandy Cheekerson. Well, thanks for the romp down memory boulevard, but I still can't remember where I put that formula. Now what am I gonna do? <laughs> Howdy, SpongeBob! Howdy, Patrick! Dang, SpongeBob. You look lower than a sea worm's hindquarters. SpongeBob lost the Krabby Patty secret formula, and now he's sad. And when he's sad, he can't remember anything. Like where he put the formula. It's a vicious cycle. Is this making any sense? Making SpongeBob happy? That shouldn't be too hard. Hmm, let's see. Shazam! How about when we first met, SpongeBob? Yep, it's the karate one with the clam and stuff. What does Pearl want for her birthday? Uh, I believe it's a... Is it the flipper slippers? Pretty sure, because it's something that her friends have that she wants. Yeah. She can't ride a seahorse. She's literally a whale. <sighs> Alright, so we did not go to the kelp forest uh, when we were doing this. Uh, if you want to perform a spin slap, follow the instructions. Press B, press B, don't throw up. Oh, yeah, so that's how we get that. We still need the water ability, though. I think we get that Goo Lagoon. Kind of sounds obvious, you know? Can we, like, combo that with... Yeah, we can. Oh, we gotta kill more robots. Who would have seen that coming? Um, robots? Oh, there they are. Oh, no, this is Sandy on the Clam. A what? A hoot to a banana? I, I know it's normally hoot nanny, but this attack is just way more reliable for groups of enemies. Like, let's be honest. Oh, and that unlocks one of those spin pad things, whatever you want to call them. I don't even know what they're technically called. If I can get those coins up there without technically going across anything. Oh yeah, it's back this way. The music here is pretty catchy, but I don't remember this being in this episode of Spongebob. Oh yeah, these are time-based. You have 19 seconds to do one little tiny jump. Can I get up there? I don't think so. Spin wheel? That, that doesn't even sound like a joke or anything. Stop saying spin wheel. Like, what is spin wheel? Oh, this is easy to get up. Like, there's no way I can even break these if I wanted to, Spongebob. There's, like, literally no way we could fail that. So I'll take it. We almost have enough for that health upgrade, even though we've only been hit once in the entire game. Oh, we got more enemies. Oh, what are these things? The game cannot progress while spawn bots still stand. Okay. Well, how do I... Um... I think you just have to destroy enough of these guys and eventually... Oh man, we took damage. Now I think they automatically blow up, right? Yeah, because we couldn't reach them. Or at least one blows up. And I think we gotta do it again for eight more enemies. Yep. And of course, it's the exact same enemies that we were facing beforehand. Oh yeah, these guys take three with that. I think this, yeah, the spatula slam technically does more damage, but it's it's less reliable when it comes to like actually dealing with groups of enemies. And there we go, it's destroyed. Oh, there's this those like spiky spin top things. Oh, there's a challenge right here. Oh, never mind. That's a Gary uh, thingy majigger. What do the Gary things do again? Oh, I guess we'll see what this does. Oh, Romans of this. 
I seem to be able to jump further when I perform a spin slap in midair. Okay, those are just hints. I kind of thought so. Did you really give me that much time for that? I'm just making sure I don't miss anything, you know? Oh. Really a free one? How many lives do we have? We have 16 lives and we haven't even died once. That's pretty nutty. Oh. This actually looks pretty intimidating. And, oh, camera angle. Oh, I thought I wasn't going to be able to squeeze through there. And there we go, those enemies are all goners. And kaboom! Oh look, we found a box that we can jump into. Dun 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 dun. Oh, what do we got going on here? You don't tenderize clams, but okay. You want gross clam meat, sure, I guess. You do you. Oh, looks like we got a triple spin. Oh, it takes a sturdy, muscly sp Wait a minute, are these just spawning? They are just spawning in, so there's no point of fighting them. Oh, there's our buff power-up right here. Is that a submarine? There's a submarine in the water. Why is there a submarine? That's kind of weird. Yeah, and remember, water... Why it hurts Spongebob is because he doesn't know how to swim. That's all it is, remember? Oh yeah, that's super strong, man. Get out of here. Right. Oh, you have to keep doing it. Okay. That's weird, but it works, I guess. I haven't found any se- oh, there's that over- oh, there's a challenge right there. And kaboom. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, there we go. Forest. Kelp forest. It is kelp forest. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Kelp forest isn't where this episode took place. Not at all. Like, well, why, why are we at kelp forest? Now let me just move my mic a little bit closer. Yeah, 17 minutes into the episode, you know, that, that makes sense. Tip, do not stand on these plants. At all. They will try and eat you, and then damage you, and then you'll lose your buff. Oh yeah, we still need to find Patrick here. We haven't found him yet. Maybe he's in one of these? No. What about in here? Help. Also, there were no subs in this episode either. Not even the food. Hey, a random one-up. Just chilling in a box. Okay. I'll take free one-ups. Because I know there is going to be a difficult part in the game where it can be a little weird. Also, what's going on here? Oh, these move. Okay. Thank you, I guess. Can I jump across this? No. Just making sure I can, you know, like, find a secret or something there. Alright, what do we got here? Robots? Yep. Wait, aren't these guys just... Wait, was that it? Oh, yeah, the bigger enemies. Wait. And there we go. Destroyed. I can't believe I lost my power because I couldn't outrun him. And I guess I didn't take... Oh, yeah, don't take damage. Oh, this power up. One more time. Cardiovascular workout? Yeah. Good for the good old heart there, buddy. Can we find Patrick as Patrick? 
Oh, we took damage. Even though we didn't actually take damage. I'm confused. What's going on here? Hmm. Well, it's an outhouse. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to destroy the outhouse that's spawning the enemies. I get it. Interesting. And that's a big boy over there. Sorry, Mr. Enemy, but we gotta go and destroy everything, so... Like this, for example? Okay, that's one outhouse destroyed. And then... Outhouse number two destroyed. How many outhouses were there? Three? Or four? Okay, there's at least four. I think we destroyed the one, though, that spawns the big enemies. So the biggest threat is technically down. And, oh, that looks spit. Actually, that looks like we're, where we need to go next. And boom! Right on! And opened up that. Now let's go and get the strongman power up here so we can deal with that. Also, it never gave us a proper introduction to the big spinny boy. Can you stop spinning? Oh, there we go. And all the enemies are dead. Nice. I'm assuming this opens a... Oh, it's an entire gauntlet. I don't think you want to hug a jellyfish hive, Spongy. Man, it gives us almost just the same amount of time to do this entire thing as it did to do, um... Uh... There we go. We made it. Nice. We still have to find Patrick, though. Hopefully we find Patrick soon. Because the items, we get one at the end of the level, obviously, and then one... Or one each for the challenges, and then the other kelp thing. Or uh, I don't keep going a kelp. The mermaid man and barnacle boy happy meal things will be from the last one. Will be from the other challenge because there's three challenges per level. Oh, we got the strong power up again. This looks in interesting. Oh, never mind. This is the Karate Tornado Spin. This kills the plants, by the way, if you're wondering what this does. Oh, go! Ooh, one up over here. Oh, we almost got to it. If I didn't focus on killing the enemy, yeah, see, there's a challenge here, too. Now, where is this Patrick? Oh, they only take one hit to destroy regardless. Okay. And this probably opens up something over here. Yeah, it opened up whatever you want to call that thing. Why do you need to catch your breath? I thought you were in shape, SpongeBob. I feel like these grow back. I want the one up, thank you very much. Now, can we transform out of that? Thank you. I appreciate it very much, Sandy Cheekerson. Wait, what was. Oh, it's that submarine again. Oh, that's the power up. And that's, I think, the third challenge. So we should be pretty much set, except for finding Patrick. I remember Patrick being hard to find in most levels, though. Oh, that's why it wasn't in the episode. It's one of the Plankton bots. The wee yellow bots, wee little target. Okay. Now we just gotta figure out how he attacks. Apparently not like that. Oh, it only pops up when he gets stunned like that. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Camera angle, please work with me, buddy. 
There we go, your butt has been smashed. Uh, that's a sentence I didn't want to say today. Hammer time, buddy? Oh, I took damage from that. Oh, okay, and if you take dam- Oh, wait! Oh, never mind. I can do this in my sleep. Never underestimate the power of the sponge. Oh. And there we go, he's destroyed. Oh, it's the iced tea! Right on! And I missed Patrick here. Go figure, I did. Anyway, let's grab this. Did he just dab? Congratulations, you've obtained Sandy's iced tea glass. It's not a glass, that's a pitcher. Myself, my, good lady rodent. my name is SpongeBob Reginald SquarePants Esquire Jr. the third. A pleasure, Mr. SquarePants. I am Mademoiselle Sandy Cheeks. Might I offer you a spot of tea and some spirited conversation? Ooh, you may indeed. That was corny. Now we know where everything is except for Patrick. Uh, what does Plankton give Spongebob when they first meet? A spatula. It gives him that weird spatula. That, that robotic one. Because that's when he works for Plankton. Oh, I guess that unlocked the next zone. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys all next time for some more Spongebob Truth or Square. See you guys next time.